In today's economy, oil and gas are vital resources. They generate energy to power critical face of the economy, like transportation and electricity. Oil an important material to create products like chemicals and plastics. The stability of the oil supply is paramount importance to the economy. According to Philippine Statistics Authority, oil and natural gas with coal condensate contribution from 2000-2019 to the country's overall economic activity grew from 0.04% to 0.46%. Oil and gas are considered unsustainable sources, for instance, the Malampaya gas field, Philippines' major source of natural gas is projected to be depleted by 2017, while its service contract is set to expire in 2024. Yet the Energy Department is seeking to reach energy independence by 2040. Data from Department of Energy's Philippine Energy Plan, PEP, 2020-2040 stated that the total petroleum reserves of the country comprise an estimated 68.7 million barrels MMB, of oil, 637 billion cubic feet BCF, of gas and 27.9 MMB condensate as of June 2022. In terms of production, Gallic Oil Field in northeast Palawan and Alegria Field in onshore Cebu produce a total of 700,115.83 barrels BBLS, of crude oil in 2020, with the former contributing 695,247 BBLS and the later with 4,869 BBLS. Meanwhile, Philippines' natural gas production was at 141,732 million standard cubic feet MMSCF, in 2020. Total consumption was 1,333,606 MMSCF, 98.8% of which was utilized to power sector. The Department of Energy recently released a report on the supply and demand of oil, which shows that as of the end of June this year, there were 2,077 million barrels of finished petroleum products, biofuel excluded, and 342 million barrels of crude in stock. Year to date, YDD, June 2022 saw 2,493 million liters of crude oil imports, a 105.5% increase over YDD June 2021 as 1,213 million liters. According to Department of Energy, this is because there were no crude oil imports during the first quarter of the previous year as a result of refineries' economic shutdown. The Middle East provided all the crude oil that was imported in the first half of the year. Saudi Arabia is the main supplier of crude oil to the nation, contributing 56.79% of the total with 1,416 million liters. The United Arab Emirates, UA, came in second with a 22.59% share of imports of crude oil, followed by Iraq, 17.42%, and Qatar, 3.2%. The total amount of petroleum products imported during the first half of 2022 is 10,209 million barrels, an increase of 1.01% over the 10,107 million liters in the YDD June 2021. With 4,279 milliliters, diesel oil was the most popular imported item. Liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, came in second with 1,554 million liters followed by gasoline with 2,552 million liters. In 2021, China was the biggest exporter of finished petroleum products to the nation. However, because of its earlier intention to halt oil exports, local oil businesses imported the majority of their supplies from Singapore and South Korea, with respective shares of 34.08% and 20.09%. China's import proportion decreased to 11.74%. The output of the refineries likewise grew, going from 1,284 million liters. In YDD June 2021 to 2,686 milliliters in YDD June 2022. The demand for petroleum products climbed by 9.6% to 13,256 million liters. In YDD June 2022 as travel restrictions relaxed this year, spurring economic activity. Diesel oil accounted for 42.1% of all product demand, a 6.5% increase over YDD June 2021 figures. Demand for gasoline climbed by 8.1%, gaining 27.2% of the market. 
LPG was next with a 12.1% market share. Demand for rev turbos increased by 99.9%, and it now makes up 6.2% of total demand. Fuel oil comprises 4.7% of the mixture and has increased by 11.7%. The percentage of kerosene was 0.3%, a 17.5% decline. Pilipinas, the three largest oil companies in the nation, Shell Petroleum Corporation, Petron Corporation, and Chevron, own a 40.77% market share of the overall demand. Other industry participants and end-users who imported directly for their own purposes received the remaining 59.23%. The Department of Energy aims to increase the nation's energy independence by 2040 in the PEP 2020-2040. The Department of Energy DOE, acknowledges the major role that locally produced conventional energy plays in supplying the country's energy and power needs, promoting economic expansion, and lowering reliance on imported energy. In order to assist the industry's objective to achieve greater energy independence by 2040, the DOE consistently promotes upstream oil, gas, and coal exploration, development, and production in the nation, according to the PEP. According to the Upstream Oil and Gas Industry Strategy, which is outlined in the PEP, it wants to grow reserves and as a result, aggressively pursues the granting of new service contracts SCs, and the rapid discovery of new oil and gas fields. The goal is for oil reserves to rise from 48.7 MMB in 2022 to up to 116 MMB by the end of 2040. By 2040, gas reserves are expected to reach up to 5.9 trillion cubic feet TCF. Additionally, between 2023 and 2040, the DOE plans to drill six oil opportunities over the Northwest Palawan Basin and five gas prospects in the Northwest and Southwest Palawan Basins. Potential recoverable reserves of up to 67 MMB of oil and 3.5 TCF of gas are expected from these prospects. The Department of Energy DOE, focuses on importing liquefied natural gas LNG, while developing and operating LNG receiving facilities because Malampea's natural gas supply cannot be replaced locally. The Department of Energy has thus far authorized applications for seven LNG import terminal projects. The Department of Energy stated that the initiative not only creates a new industry, but also stabilizes the nation's natural gas supply, ensuring the ongoing functioning of the existing power plants being Limbaugh supplied by the Malampea. The Additionally, the, the agency stated in the PEP that natural gas will be used to power the more adaptable facilities, which would promote renewable energy sources. According to the PEP 2020-2040, the nation aims to increase the share of renewable energy in its power generating mix to 35% by 2030 and 50% by 2040 under the clean energy scenario.